Hello friends and uh, welcome. Today I have for you this beautiful, beautiful reform calligraph fountain pen from Germany. It is my um, recent acquisition. I bought this pen because um, of this interesting double broad italic nib with uh, two breathing holes is the only nib I have with two breathing holes. This is the first occasion that um, I will fill this fountain pen and we'll see how it writes. As you can see this is in uh, immaculate condition. I think it was hardly used and why do I say that? You can see the imprints on the barrel reform calligraph 1.5. This imprint is in immaculate shape and um, also the gold trimmings so reform it is um, beautiful beautiful like new this band which uh, has imprint at the end of the cap reform and germany is um, slightly lighter the gold plating is slightly lighter in color than the plating of the clip let's see the clip the functionality of the clip yes it's springy but uh, not as much but i guess it uh, does its job we have another reform here and i see that it lacks the famous logo with the wings that you saw on my previous episode where i talked about um, this burgundy fountain pen you can see germany on it and you can see reform on it and you can see this interesting logo i hope it shows on camera let us focus focus okay now you see it it's an r with two wings which was um the famous logo of the reform german brand firm as you remember uh, that uh, model was called uh, p125 i believe and it has the same characteristics as this fountain pen this fountain pen is made out of black plastic it also has screwed in cap and you can see the same the same ink windows as the other fountain pen the same um, grip section which is a plain made out of plastic and it ends in this beautiful beautiful nib one of the main reason i acquired this fountain pen is a double broad italic reformed germany steel nib gold plated you can see with two breathing holes at the end we have the same feed i don't know if it's ebonite or plastic and um, as you see i think it was inked with uh, some um, black ink and uh, for the writing sample i will use also a black ink it's uh, the, the pelican 4001 brilliant black till the writing sample i want to show you some um, fountain pens so this is uh, the reform calligraph and uh, next to it the previously reviewed um, reform p125 we have a similar shape but um, the clip is missing we have another burgundy fountain pen this is a mont blanc 220p from the 70s you can see the similarities between them i also have a luxury pelican sovran m800 and another pelican m 150 from 1997 you can see them side by side the reform is quite a slim fountain pen it resembles the design of the 1970s and the 1980s and i also will leave the dimensions 
of the reform fountain pen, reform calligraph on the screen. Okay. Now we are ready for the inking. Like I said, I will use this brilliant Schwarz, brilliant black pelican 4001. And I hope there will be a smooth writing sample because this is um, the first time that I use this uh, fountain pen. So I simply turn the piston and you can see the piston through the ink windows. Here it is. It's uh, the knob. Um, it's um, um, I'm sorry, the cork, it's a plastic cork, not a wood cork. Okay, now we've, we've reached the end. I simply introduce it and draw the ink. You can see that, let's um, repeat the procedure. Okay, and again. Okay. Now the ink windows are completely out of uh, sight. We simply clean with a tissue all the ink. Okay. Remember to close the ink bottle. And I'm very, very excited because this is the first time that I use this fountain pen. Let us, um, let's, um, um, I will do some lines. Oh, yes, it writes. And um, it will be an interesting writing sample, even for me, because this is the first time that I use this type of um, a nib. It is a special nib, as you can see. So let's see. Reform. Whoa. Whoa, nice one, nice one. Okay. This was made in Germany. I am impressed by this nib in the 1980s. And this is a calligraph. Whoa, interesting nib. Let us see. Let us see if we have some line variation. Oh, yes. Yes, you can see. Whoa. Nice one. So we have some little flex to it. Whoa. And um, let us see. So this is a line, another line. And we gently push it to the limit. We can see some nice line variation. It writes uh, thin and when we turn it, it's thin. Hmm, quite interesting. I like it, like it a lot. I promised you that um, I will try to use another acquisition of mine. I was talking about the gold nib, a reformed gold nib that I bought. So I hope you can see it. Yes, it is a gold nib and it has quite a bit of flex to it. And I was planning to fit this fountain pen with a gold nib. But I'm, I'm so impressed by the way that this fountain pen writes that uh, I think I will abandon my plan. It is um, a nice, 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 nice nib. And um, you know that I, I am a fan of a gold nib, but uh, when you see some um, steel nibs like this nib, you are impressed so a reform made in Germany
I have to say that this is an incredible nib guys and um, I bought this fountain pen at an incredible price I paid for it including uh, shipping um, I believe uh, $10 no excuse me $20 I paid 20 American dollars but uh, it is worth every penny every cent every penny of it it is a beautiful beautiful fountain pen with an incredible but an incredible nib you can see the flex see um, you can see the variation and um, i must admit that this is the first time that i've used an italic nib and i'm certainly impressed the only problem i can see is uh, you can see the tipping it has practically no iridium or if it is uh, iridium it's quite um, a small part so i'm afraid that in time it will um, it will wear down in the metal because um, although it's not gold but it's steel also the steel is a uh, quite um, light material in comparison with the iridium tipping and um, in time at the contact with the paper it will um, it will um, eat the material let's say thank you for watching this uh, review of my latest acquisition i am proud of this acquisition as always i wish you to have a nice day if you liked this video please subscribe and support my work and see you again in the next episode bye bye